Presidential candidate of the new Democratic Front, Sajid Premadasa, addressed a rally in Hambantota this evening. Some speak about the citizenship. I do not bother myself about the dual citizenship or triple citizenship. I want to contest with this candidate and nobody else. Our people will decide if the citizenship is an issue or not. Certain attorneys have also come forward and are now coming up with many lies. But I do not worry about the citizenship. Sajid Premadasa wants this candidate to contest with. I ask everyone not to oppose it because I know that after the 16th, instead of threats and every other negative thing, justice, freedom and democracy will prevail. This country is not ready to implement the white van culture again. They do not know how to be original. The citizenship is not original. When the certificates were presented, even the text typed was wrong. Even the format of the date written was wrong. <laughs> What a shame. Everything has become a lie, just like the documents presented. The presidential candidate of the new Democratic Front, Minister Sajid Premadas, addressed a rally in Monragala today. The rally to support the candidacy of presidential candidate Sajid Premadasa was organized by Minister Ranjit Madhuma Vandara. A number of local politicians, including a secretary of the former UPFA minister, Sumedha G. Jayasena, pledged their support to the new Democratic Front. Our opponents say that Sajid does promise-based politics. They ask where we will find the money to fund the projects. I would like to cross-question and ask from the opposition party, how did they fund the Lotus Tower? How did they fund the Nilumpokuna? Is it good to make a Lotus Tower and the Nilumpokuna? Or is it better to give 4.4 million students two sets of uniforms, lunch and a pair of shoes? The Poho Tour got it wrong. They have made a presidential palace in Jaffna with a pool at the level of the ocean. If there is money to do those things, there is no money for handouts. We will collect every wasted cent in the country's institutions and provide relief to the students and the farmers. Don't have any fear about it. There is enough money. Our government will not give vehicle permits to those from the president downwards. The opposite side does not think about the poor people. They don't think about the common man. They only think about the family. Now they must be eagerly looking forward to going into the palace after the 16th. But I would like to say that it will be Sajid Premadasa and the Swan that will emerge victorious. We started the battle to make him the candidate in Monaragala. The people of this country know. If the situation had progressed, I would have even lost my seat. Sajid is not like the others. He will work 16 to 18 hours a day. We do not have corruption. There is no fraud or theft. It is a clean United National Party with Sajid and we will carry on clean politics with him as the United National Front. The final rally attended by presidential candidate of the new Democratic Front, Sajid Premadasa, yesterday was held in Kandy.
The public rally which was held in Mahayava Kandy was attended by many parliamentarians and ministers including Minister Lakshman Kiriyalla. There are many depositors who are inconvenienced due to certain finance companies. The usual answer is that since these finance companies are not registered, that the government cannot bear responsibility. That is the answer that is given to these innocent depositors. Depositing money at an unregistered financial institution is wrong. But my friends, a government cannot run away from problems. Those depositors are not foreigners. They are not American citizens, but our very own citizens. We need to commit ourselves to rebuild these financial institutions with the help of new investors, even foreign investors. On the 16th, we will not form a government which runs away from problems. <laughs> Thank you.